Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the daily collective reading for November 29th. This is for Monday, November 29th. Now, if the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. Okay, this reading is for Monday, November 29th. Daily collective reading. Um, one thing I will say is that this week we do have the solar eclipse. Um, we had the lunar eclipse. Now we have the solar eclipse, which is um, on December 4th, okay, this Saturday. So um, that's going to, you know, impact our energy as well, okay, especially with our emotions and how we feel about things, okay? All right, so collective. What do we have for the collective for Monday, November 29th? <laughs> What do we have for the collective for Monday, November 29th, Spirit? For Monday, November 29th. Collective. Okay. Card's kind of sticky. Okay, but the card that came out was discontent and boredom. Okay. Discontent and boredom. All right, and that's like the Four of Cups energy with disruption on the bottom. That's the Tower energy, okay? Yeah, so when the Tower comes in, Major Arcana, the Major Arcana cards are in black. That's kind of saying like, you know, God, Spirit is coming in to shake things up. If you're discontent or bored in a situation um, or in life, there's some disruption happening, shaking things up. So let's see. What is the message for you, collective? All right. Remember, the, the card on the bottom is the because, right? So let's see, what is the actual energy? It's the four. Okay. What is about, you know, stability and the number four? The card says this, discontent and boredom. This card signifies a time when you may experience stagnation, discontent, and boredom. Feelings of restlessness and impatience surround you. A relationship, project, or situation isn't moving forward fast enough and could be draining you emotionally and energetically, okay? You're longing for change, and although one door may be closing, don't focus all of your energy on it, as opportunity will soon knock. A window or another door could quickly open. And if your attention and awareness isn't focused, you could easily miss it. Watch for synchronistic events that bring books, speakers, workshops, and new people into your life. Any of these could possibly hold a message for you. Have faith in divine timing and know that everything changes for a reason. This card acts as a reminder that it's a perfect time to reevaluate and search within your heart and soul for fresh insights. Okay? So, something isn't going the way that you expected it, okay? Or wanted it to. You're not happy with it. Very discontent, okay? Spirit is saying everything happens for a reason. All right? So, come out of that energy of, you know, woe is me, okay? And prepare yourself almost for the next chapter okay all right why is discontent and boredom here for the collective so if this is resonating with you then you're probably in that energy right now where you're just like man whatever right <laughs> so let's see why is discontent and boredom here for the collective discontent and boredom Okay. Okay. All right. So with this page of swords, this is about um, communication, right? But it's, it's figuring something out. The page of swords energy is he's a learner, okay? He's learning different things. He's, you know, acquiring different information. He's figuring something out. He's discovering, okay? So you may have discovered something, okay? And maybe you're discovering um, some aspects in yourself that are, um, you know, around tradition, okay? Maybe you want to discover more or you're discovering more about yourself spiritually, okay? 
Um, or maybe you're even discovering that, hey, you know, I think I want to be in a long-term commitment. I think I want something solid, okay? Because that's what the Hierophant energy um, represents. Yeah. It's like either you're figuring out that you want a commitment or you're figuring out more about yourself, like exploring your spirituality, okay? Because with this Emperor energy, this is about taking charge. This is about being in control. This is about... Um, ownership okay so i feel like you're taking charge of like your current circumstances okay you may be even being guided to take charge of your current circumstances okay because with the eight of wands on the bottom this is about movement okay this could be moving all right um but it's also communication and it's like getting things moving forward okay yeah um, and with the King of Cups energy right behind that, this is about expressing your love, expressing how you feel about something. Um, so it's like, okay, you're realizing like, hey, I, you know, I want a commitment. Or you're realizing that, you know, there's there are different aspects of yourself spiritually that you're learning more about and you're growing, okay, becoming an emperor, all right? And you're ready to move things forward, okay? All right, discontent and boredom for the collective. Seven of Wands, okay, all right, and with the Three of Cups right there um, behind, through them right there, with the Three of Cups on the bottom and the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, mm -hmm. okay, okay, so with the Discontent and Boredom, this card represents the Four of Cups, right, okay. In addition to being discontent and bored, all right, the Four of Cups also represents rejection, okay, pushing something away, right? And you may be realizing something now, either you're learning more about yourself spiritually or you're realizing that you want a commitment, all right? And you're starting to take, you need to take, or you're starting to take control of the next steps or your movement forward, okay? Whether it's communicating how you feel, okay? or acting on how you feel, acting on your emotions. But the Seven of Wands, this is a defensive energy. So you might have been blocking, um, you know, coming together with someone or pushing something away um, that gives you joy, okay? The Three of Cups is about family, friends, um, enjoyment, okay? So you might have been pushing these opportunities away, okay? Because the card mentioned that about opportunities being brought towards you or made um, apparent to you and you might miss it if you're in like that, you know, what was me space, okay? So with this seven of wands energy, it's like you're realizing something, okay? And you may even, you know, realize that there are aspects of yourself that might have blocked or pushed away something that brings you joy, okay? Because secretly with the high priestess and the ten of swords, this is like suppressed... Um, it's suppressed emotion, okay? But the high priestess and the ten of swords this is not speaking. You're not communicating about what's what's really impacting you with that ten of swords energy. Maybe you're not sharing with others or your family and friends like why you're not coming around or why you've kind of kept your energy back, right? So like this is saying like you in order for you to create that change, okay, is for you to get into that emperor energy is necessary necessary for you to get in that emperor energy, all right, and start to make some changes. Either communicate how you feel. Or start to act on, you know, what it is that you are feeling. Okay. Anything else for discontent and boredom for the collective? Yeah. The two of swords. All right. This is avoidance. All right. You're realizing that you do want to be a commitment. Or you're realizing aspects um, about yourself that might be controlling and blocking things out that you truly do want. That blocking things out that bring you joy. And with this two of swords is avoidance. Okay, like not wanting to um, hear the truth, not wanting to acknowledge something, okay? Avoiding a decision, okay? Yeah, maybe to start a new beginning, okay? Harmony, putting yourself into a shell, okay? Yeah, because you're not vocalizing, you're not speaking up about really like how you're feeling about things, okay? You're suppressing it, okay? With that high priestess energy and the ten of swords. OK, so it's important for you to um, acknowledge that, OK, for you to realize exactly where that's coming from. OK, 
So you can start to make the changes because with this disruption card here, all right, this is about a tower. And then look, right behind that is that celebration. It says rejoice and celebrate. Okay, that's that Three of Cups energy. It's like all of a sudden things change around for you. You were bored at first, right? Didn't you say you were bored? That's what the card said. It said you were bored. What do you think? Okay, so we have this rupture card here. All right, that's the tower energy. And it says this. So we're going to see what the disruption is. A sudden, usually unforeseen disruption or major change is happening or is about to take place. Even if it appears to be a negative experience, it can lead to enlightenment or a total shift in your lifestyle. In traditional tarot, this card represents the falling tower that eventually crumbles due to its weak foundation. Whichever part of your life you focus on, this is an opportunity to rebuild with a solid, positive structure to make you or the situation even stronger. There are times when the most difficult situations arise in your life. If you choose to, they can act as a catalyst to heal, to heal other areas. They are beneficial because they're truly your greatest teachers. Learn from past mistakes, accept them, and integrate them into your life as stepping stones. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This disruption card is a reminder that negative thinking, limiting beliefs, ignoring problematic situations, and risky or careless lifestyles must be addressed so that positive changes can take place. Life has a habit of moving you forward, whether you're ready or not. Transformation of mind, body, and soul can happen if you view this dramatic change or time of change as an opportunity for growth. In the future, you may look back and be thankful for this opportunity, okay? Because disruption is happening. But would you want disruption to happen if you're in a situation that you're discontent with or doesn't bring you satisfaction, bored, right? If you are um, just kind of just existing, wouldn't you want some type of disruption? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Why is a disruption card here for the collective spirit? Why is a disruption card here for the collective? Disruption. Sorry, I just got to move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, so oops. the disruption card, we get the seven of swords, okay? That's about line still energy, okay? But it's also about like being strategic. It can also be like uh, being dishonest with yourself, okay? Yeah, with the ace of cups, all right? It's about having a new beginning, okay, emotionally, all right? Um, a fresh start, okay? A new opportunity. Maybe you're not being honest about the fact that you want a new opportunity, okay? Or you want new love, or you want to go in a different direction, or that you want to be in a commitment, whatever. You're not being honest about something, okay? Because with the set five of wands here, this is about conflict. You could be like trying to avoid conflict, okay? Like pushing away something that brings you joy and avoiding making a decision, okay? Is leaving you in a position of discontent and boredom, right? So with a disruption card here, Spirit is like, oh, we're going to make the changes for you, whether you're like it or not, okay? Like, I mean, because if you're not being honest with yourself, right, or not being honest about the fact that you want a new beginning, you want a fresh start, you want um, something new, okay? Yeah, because of conflict, okay, or because of um, time that's been invested or money that's been invested or um, other people's opinions because with the five of wands, right? You know, yeah. You want a new opportunity, okay? With the ace of pentacles and the two of cups, 
right? You, this is like wanting to a fresh start, a partnership with someone else, okay? Or with someone, okay? Yeah. Why is disruption here for the collective? Disruption. Yeah, it's about first being on, honest with yourself, okay? So that changes can happen, okay? You got the fool, all right? It's about going into the unknown, taking a leap of faith, okay? Yeah. Yeah, taking a leap of faith. You have the seven of pentacles. That's about waiting, evaluation, okay? Looking at something thoroughly, all right? And the eight of cups, all right? It's like with the knight of swords on the bottom and the six of swords, six of pentacles, the knight of swords energy is about uh, abrupt decisions, okay? Or rush decisions, um, making a decision to like remove yourself from something or just, you know, just acting on something without necessarily thinking, okay? So with the full energy being here, all right, you may be like, oh, I'm not, you know, it's not that I'm avoiding, uh, you know, making a decision. It's that I don't want to be foolish. I don't want to just jump out there, you know, and make a decision that I regret or, you know, make a decision without thinking, okay? Knight of Swords energy, right? So with the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, this is like constant evaluation. Like, I'm going to give it more time. Let, let me let me review this a little bit more. Um, I'm going to give it more time before you remove yourself from something that has you in discontent and boredom. Okay? The Eight of Cups is walking away from what is not emotionally serving you. Whether it's a memory, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's a way of life. Okay? The Seven of Pentacles is like waiting and evaluation. It's like waiting for something to change. Waiting for... You know, to see, you know, well, what comes out of this, okay? Well, let me see. Let me see first before I make that change, right? Yeah, but you're not being honest with yourself. So because you are in this wait, wait, wait energy, okay? Spirit is helping you with a little disruption. I mean, right? Okay? Anything else for disruption for the collective? Anything else? Yeah. I knew it was cool, huh? The death energy on the bottom. This is a transformation. This is something coming to an end, all right? So it's something that you've been holding on to, okay? The four of pentacles that's holding back or holding on to. Could have been holding on to a commitment with the four of wands. You could have been holding on to a foundation or a home or some sense of security because with the four remember we said that means or it stands for like stability and security you're holding on to something for security and so now we have like three fours four four and four okay like you're holding on to something for some type of like um like stability or security okay but with this death card being here this is putting something to an end, okay? Um, this is going to be the end of conflict, the end of lack, okay? When you make the decision, okay? As soon as you make the decision, change happens, okay? So that's what disruption card is here for. This disruption is happening because something is built on a weak foundation, Is what it is. So that's what I have for you, should. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Don't look at this as, oh, you know, I'm losing out on something or, um, you know, I'm going to be, you know, dissatisfied or, you know, whatever, I'm being punished. This has everything to do with you being supported to move on to the next phase of your life. Spirit is taking you out of a situation that isn't doing you any justice and moving you forward. You have to see the benefit in it. So that's what I have for you, should. I hope this helps. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share. 
and subscribe. Wish you guys are ready. Bye.